Yes, uh, so it was announced last week and they've issued guidance this week, so the council should have that, but I'll follow that up. because uh, yeah. um, And it is something that people who've been flooded for, it's a, it's a scheme that we activate um, regularly when we get these events, so uh, it's a grant to help improve the resilience of the home and a sort of uh, one-off payment to help deal with the issues. I think it's, I think it's backwards as well, because the two and a half thousand is for the initial loss, and five thousand for resilience. Uh, resilience. But I think it should be the other way around, because the actual loss is probably that. Yeah. And the actual resilience, you can put a flood gate up for like, right. three, three, four hundred pounds of travel, um, yeah. and things like that, and different yeah. events and stuff like that. Yeah. over the last few days and coming in today. How, how, did, how did it feel to watch it unfold and indeed to speak to these people? Well obviously it's very alarming and uh, when the Prime Minister appointed me to this role two weeks ago we discussed Storm Dennis and the impacts that we were likely to see and discuss what our uh, response should be and I have been having you know daily uh, updates on this with officials and the National um, Flood Response Centre that coordinates uh, activity right across government has been meeting uh, every single day and I, um, I think the the concerning thing at the moment is we'd hoped earlier this week that we might have turned the corner and seen uh, the last of the heaviest rain and that levels would start to uh, decline. Uh, we now know that we are facing sadly another storm uh, this weekend uh, that is going to probably put increased pressure again um, here on the River Severn uh, and that's why I wanted to come here today uh, to look at the preparedness for what might be a, I'm afraid a third uh, wave of problems on the River Severn uh, over the course of the weekend and early next week. Indeed, and obviously the government have made certain promises of money for looking after the country in floods in the future. Um, how long until we can see some genuine results of that money that is actually going to protect communities around Shropshire? Well, what we've done in the last five years has um, uh, put a lot of protection in place. And so were it not for the 600 or so projects uh, that we've done nationally over the last five years, we would have had another 50,000 homes flooded. Um, and I think here in the West Midlands, some 15,000 homes have been flooded as a result of the investments we've made over the last five years. Now, I know that's um, little comfort to the you know, 70 or so properties that were flooded here in Shrewsbury uh, over the last week and indeed nationally the 3,000 homes uh, that have been flooded. That is why we're going to invest even more over the next five years, £4 billion, uh, on improving our um, flood resilience. Hi, and you've been asked this a few times about Boris Johnson not coming to see the community in Shropshire. He launched his manifesto in, in the county and he's very much talking up Iron Bridge as, you know, it's such an important part of the uh, Industrial Revolution. Why, why is he not here? Well, look, we have uh, Cabinet Government. It's not a one-man show. When the Prime Minister appointed me two weeks ago, uh, he asked me to lead on this. We discussed what our response should be. Uh, and I think what really matters is that uh, what people want from their government is timely decisions and a quick and rapid response. Uh, and we've delivered that. We've made available money whenever it was needed to help local authorities uh, deal with this situation. We've made available uh, money to help communities get back on their feet uh, through things like business rate and council tax relief uh, and hardship grants as well for people who've had their homes flooded. So we've acted quickly to uh, make the decisions that are necessary um, and um, yeah, I think it's right in a cabinet government that the Secretary of State for the Environment should lead on matters such as this. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, great.